Okay, we're out here. It's a great day on the reef. Water's pretty calm. Uh, we've been here about a half hour. I'm tied up. I've got my chum bag hanging off the port side. As you can see, you got some chubs, you got some some type of damsels, you got some yellowtail, smaller yellowtail. Further out past the net, I can see uh, the more the larger yellowtail, and I actually see a turtle coming up behind the ballyhoo net. So what we want to do is, so it's been out there about a half hour. What we want to do is we're going to shake the chum bag vigorously, just to kind of get some get a cloud of little pieces of a, a bait in the water, and this kind of just brings in the fish nice and close and take them off their defenses. We do have a, a large barracuda running around in here. He's back behind the net. But so what we're going to do is now we're going to try bringing this net in. At a decent pace. Okay. Here comes our barracuda. We'll come up right behind him. There we go. There's your day's worth of live barracuda. One catch. So at the end of the day, you've caught your ballyhoo for the day and you want to store your net. So what you do is you can just take a couple lengths of line, go ahead and just throw it down in the net, grab it 180 degrees apart as wide as you can, twist it, fold it up. Now notice, I even have the, the floating bottle in there. That saves you the trouble of having to do it next time. Wrap the tail of the net around a couple times. And then what I like to do is I wrap the hand line around. Tuck it in real quick, put it into the net, the net bag here. Sometimes that zipper gets a little stuck there. There we go. So now she's in the bag, tidy, and wrapped up, not gonna hang on anything. The last step, and this is why I use this bag, this bag is porous. Now we can rinse our net, either on the boat, I like to do it on the boat, store it away. Rinse it right here, you see the water gets in, cleans the bag, and you leave it in there to dry. All done in one shot, ready for the next trip.